this report seemingly was good. Even the outlook, I mean, maybe it didn't meet certain analyst estimates, but it wasn't bad either. What exactly was it about this AMD report that has that stock down 5% right now? Yeah, well, you hit it in the run-up here. It was all about expectations. And there were two things going on. If you look at prior quarters, AMD had beaten on EPS, double digits, and on revenue and single digits. And I think Wall Street just, just wanted more. I think some people are also slowly making their way through these breakouts. AMD traditionally hadn't broken out his business as, as in detail, finite details it did before, but this time they broke it out into four different businesses. And I think investors are just trying to work their way through that. In a way, I think that investors were wanting the Intel shortfall to be the gain of AMD. But AMD doesn't have the market footprint that Intel does, but I think that's what investors were looking for because for all intents and purposes, it's a two-horse race between those two companies. It's a two-horse race, but I mean, there, are, there have been so many other semiconductor companies that have gotten kind of more notoriety over the course of the last several years besides Intel, and AMD is one of them. It wasn't long ago that kind of AMD was viewed almost as like a, a subpar version of Intel, one that was trying to kind of gain some traction. Now it seems like all of their business units, it doesn't matter if it's data centers or, 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 or graphics or GPUs, anything else, seem to all be making gains across the board. What is it about the AMD story that either has you bullish on it or maybe a little bit more cautious? And what's your call? Yeah, so uh, I'm bullish on AMD because I, I feel like for the first time, every one of the businesses was hitting on all cylinders. Many times, one quarter it would be client, and the next quarter it would be the embedded console business, and the next it would be uh, what was called an embedded and enterprise business, but you didn't know if that was Epic Server or not. But as, as I see the breakout, every one of them is growing, and they're growing big. I think the only uh, caution I might give is to factor in the macroeconomic environment related to PCs. I think data center, hyperscaler data center to folks like Azure and Google and AWS, I, I think those are gonna continue at 30 to 40% uh, pace. And I think AMD gets their unfair share there. But factoring in that economic, uh, particularly the consumer PC factor, I think is important. But when I stand back, I feel like the market factored that in in this sell-off after hours. But I think we might see when the larger investors come in this morning, uh, U.S. time, I think we might see a little bit of a difference.